Shanti Asian here and welcome to my video <sighs> this kind of feels weird because I haven't done this in a really long time the last time I did a sit down type video was like two years ago I've just been putting up vlogs and covers um, I just wanted to update you guys on a few things so that's the point of this video so let's just get into it shall we the so first update <laughs> I'm married oh my word that's so weird if you haven't seen I uploaded my wedding video I am so happy I have no regrets and I've been so blessed with the man's that I was given you know he's just he's amazing he's amazing he's incredible we have a channel together so if you want to check it out you can we put vlogs there so any videos that are like us together go that way everything else comes this side that aside the main update of this video the main purpose i'm pregnant my stomach looks huge it's very pointy this is my stomach and that's it from the front I am about six months pregnant. I'm on my 27th week, so I've just entered my third trimester. I didn't think that it would come so soon. Like time, excuse me, time has flown by. So I just wanted to talk about a few things about my pregnancy uh, because I just thought it would be nice to have a video on my channel where I speak about the things that I'm feeling or experiencing. I'm pretty sure I found out the same way most women do. You skip a period, your boobs hurt, your body just feels weird. So yeah, my period was like really late. And Daniel just said, just take a test just so that you know, instead of like waiting and waiting and waiting. So we got a test, a period on the stick and voila. I feel like a little bit confused conflicted sometimes because I'm not that young considering there are lots of people around my, my age who already have kids but then at the same time I do feel young because there are lots of other people who are still like living that life of going out and having settled down and so yeah there were a few things that I was like stressing about and scared of so I was worried of what my extended family would think but then I eventually I was just like whatever it doesn't phase me anymore I'm, I'm over it and I'm glad I'm over it because you shouldn't be worrying about what other people think about it as long as you have come to terms with it you accept this precious little thing and so does your partner and if you've got people supporting you and backing you up then appreciate them that's all that matters and i just feel like every baby is a blessing i also like the fact that i am still young when i'm gonna have this child because i can play with them and like physically be active with my kid so i went for my first visit at eight weeks and this is the scan this little bean the doctor said the baby was conceived beginning of march Every time I go for a visit, I have to pee on a stick just to make sure that my urine is clean. There's nothing to worry about. And then I get weighed. I get weighed. And then I get free stuff. <laughs> I get baby soap, baby body wash, baby shampoo or whatever. I have like a whole stack chilling in the corner of my room. So this is now my 12-week scan. And then my 16 week. And then 20 weeks and then at 22 weeks I went for a 4d scan so they just needed to check like that my baby was forming normally and there's not like missing fingers or like anything wrong with the structure of my baby and so these are the scans from my 4d scan you can see my baby's face more his feet were like three centimeters that's so freaking cute and he was about like over 500 grams he was hugging his legs they were like here 
And then after my 4D scan was my most recent visit, which was at 24 weeks. So there's my scan there. You couldn't really see much now at 24 weeks because the baby is so big. So the doctor could only get so much. And it's just so amazing to see baby move and like like the one day he was doing this it was so cute so cute like i'm so excited we found out that my baby is a boy i'm curious to know like what he's gonna look like if he's gonna be tall because my husband is really tall daniel is very very tall well to me because i'm quite little my due date at first was first of december and then it moved to 28th of november i want natural birth the only time i'll go for a cesarean is like if it's needed now about the baby so i started feeling his movements i think around 16 weeks or so and it was just like his little like bumps from the inside of my stomach but now oh my goodness like the one day i felt like he was going to punch out of my stomach or kick or whatever it was and just a few days ago he like stuck his foot out for a few seconds and i was like i was so shook i was like what and then he just like took it back in and it's so it's so weird it's like amazing and just it's it's wow yeah i like to try play with him so when i'm on my way home from work i sing in the car and then i'll like tap my stomach and then he'll like respond it's so it's so crazy and then sometimes when I'm relaxing, that's when he's most active. So I'll like push my stomach a little and like see if I can get a reaction and then he'll like kick out. We thought of baby names for a boy and a girl before we found out the gender of the baby. I think we've stuck with one for our little baby boy. I don't want to share it yet just in case it changes but like it's really stuck and if it continues to stick, I'm going to be so happy with it. Like I love the name. It just... I like it. I like it very much. <sighs> Body changes. Okay, so first of all, my skin. My skin was getting so bad, probably from all the hormones and just like all the changes my body was experiencing. But I recently switched up my skincare routine. I will probably do a separate video on that. And this is my skin without makeup right now. And believe it or not, this is actually a lot clearer than it was two weeks ago. Although this little guy is new but yeah this is my skin without makeup my hair has been growing so quick i chopped my hair like shoulder length after my wedding day because i was just getting sick and tired of my long hair i chopped it and now that's my hair now and i'm not gonna cut it nope i'm gonna let it grow now i want my long hair back my nails have gotten stronger, of course, your hairs and your your hairs. Your hair and your nails kind of go hand in hand. I have generally quite weak nails. They can chip very easily. And now it's like freaking dream come true. They're so strong. It's amazing. Has my sizes changed? Like I can still wear my hoodies and my baggy shirts without a problem. I can't wear my pants anymore. It hurts. It's like uncomfortable to wear normal pants. I have maternity leggings and I've just been living in them. I can wear like other leggings if they're nice and loose at the top. But otherwise, mm -mm. My belly shape is like very pointy because it's like very in the middle and outwards. Because as you can see, it hasn't really affected me on the sides. But then it's like boom. I will have a video showing my belly progression, but that's once I've carried full term. So if you do want to see some updates here and there of my body changing, follow me on Instagram because I post some things there. Well, I try to. I haven't been posting much, but it's there. Weight gain. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you can see I've gained weight in my face. Whenever I gain weight, in general, it goes to my face first and I have like a very chubby face compared to the rest of my body because sometimes I can be like very slim here and then my face is still like, I just have big cheeks. Yeah. 
to monitor my weight gain, I found this website. So you fill in your height and then your weight at the beginning of your pregnancy. And then they give you a chart of your healthy weight gain of each week. So you can see like, are you gaining too much? Are you not gaining enough? So if you can stay within the brackets, then like you're good. I was about 47 at the beginning of my pregnancy and now I am at like 55. And let me tell you, if your mind is not ready to see such a jump in the number, yeah, you might just like make yourself sad. So that's just something that you have to prepare yourself for is weight gain. Like it's gonna happen. You're not gonna stay 50 your whole pregnancy. At first, I was like, eh, you know, there's nothing really changing. I wasn't gaining so much weight. But recently, I started gaining weight quicker. And every now and then, I just need a reminder that, like, it's okay. Like, your body is doing such an amazing thing. It's okay if you are now 7 kgs heavier than you were before you were pregnant. But like I said, your mind has to be ready for it because if you're the type of person who constantly checks the number on the scale and constantly looks at themselves and their body shape in the mirror, you might just make yourself sad getting pregnant because you're not going to look the same. It's not going to happen. I'm just like waiting for that 10 kg mark because that's going to blow my mind. So have I been doing anything to prevent or lessen stretch marks do i have stretch marks i don't have stretch marks yet i might get i might not it depends on your genes so as much as you can rub things on your skin if your mom and her mom had stretch marks you're more likely to get stretch marks for me my mom said she didn't really get stretch marks so i might be lucky i might be unlucky i don't know but I've been rubbing bio oil on my belly every morning and every night just to help with the elasticity of my skin because it gets very like tight and itchy with the growth. So if you don't have enough moisture and hydration, you're gonna feel that tight and itchiness and it's not nice. <sighs> I have this ugly scar on my belly. I'm so mad that I did this, but I got a belly piercing back in university and then it just wasn't working out for me because I would keep like bumping it and it just was getting irritated. So I removed it and having a normal belly, there was no scarring. You couldn't really see anything distinct. It was like, there was like a little bit of a dark mark. But now, because my skin is stretched out, there's this like big dark mark on the top of my belly button. And I hate it so much, but can't do anything about it right now besides rub bio oil and hope it disappears or gets lighter. Cravings. Do I have any weird cravings? No, I don't. I have other moms telling me their stories of the weird things they wanted to eat, but I don't have any of that. I have like normal cravings. My mom didn't have any cravings, but yeah, my cravings is like ice cream, nachos, sushi so mad about that but most of all ice cream i don't know since the beginning of my pregnancy i've wanted ice cream and specifically soft serve that's like the only ice cream that can really satisfy my craving otherwise it's like meh like you can give me a tub of tinru from woolworths and i'll be like oh, okay yeah it's nice but it's not soft serve before i would just um eat my normal three meals a day Maybe a snack in between if I felt like I needed to. But now I'm trying to eat every two to three hours just to avoid feeling feeling like lightheaded throughout the day and just like weak. Because your body's doing so much, it needs more. Um, I try to avoid too much sugar. It's difficult, but yeah. Um, too much sugar and salt because you don't want to get gestational diabetes and high blood pressure because your body is doing other things now so it's very sensitive uh do i exercise i do i try my best i'm a very lazy person i do prenatal yoga it's safe for all trimesters and it just makes me feel amazing 
and because I get home late from work I don't have time to go and walk outside because they say you should walk while you're pregnant what it's it's like one of the best forms of exercise so all I do is I'll watch TV and I'll walk on the spot it's some movement gets my heart rate going it's better than lying down and watching TV so yeah I get home and that's what I do at night because it's too late and then the weekends come and I don't really want to walk outside I don't like leaving my house I use this app called flow to track my pregnancy track my weight track my steps take any notes of other things that I might be feeling body changes maybe my acne maybe my breasts feel tender you keep track of all of that on flow and you can also keep track of your normal period if you're not pregnant which is great and it just like keeps everything on one app and then it also gives you like little articles of the changes your body is going through this week and the changes your baby is going through this week and it's so nice to read through those things and then they give you advice on other things it's nice i like it so yeah i think it's natural to stress about your finances unless you are nice and wealthy when you get pregnant but i think for most people it is a stress because now you have to adjust your expenses your living expenses you have to adjust your lifestyle a little bit to compensate having this baby sometimes i worry about not being a good parent yeah because like i'm not a very affectionate person i grew up that way my mom is not like that though she's very affectionate but i i'm not i don't know i'm just not like that <laughs> like i prefer if you don't touch me don't hug me just leave me alone so sometimes i'm scared like what if i can't give affection to my baby basically that's the video if you stuck till the end of the video thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up comment any questions you might have down below if i haven't spoken about it or maybe you just want to ask me something that's not pregnancy related um Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my second channel. I'm so excited for what's to come, guys. Oh my gosh. Hope you have a great day, great evening, wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Yeah.